Hi, hello everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Doctor Fishing one more time. I'm so glad that uh, uh, I could do this uh, video tour about some fishing lures. Uh, it's time uh, seven thirty, uh, Canada, and we are live streaming on the subject uh, fishing lures. Um, as you all know, the five diamond is one of the key lure for fishing. I just want to see how many people are here on the live stream already. There is two viewers. Okay. Um, I'm just le letting you know that I'm using the Google Hangout this time. So you guys can actually uh, join me. Hey, how are you? How are you, man? So uh, our main discussion is all about fishing lures today. So some of my friends already asked me uh, to give a description about the fishing lures that I am using. Uh, and I have decided that I should do a, a video on fishing lures. Uh, as you all know, uh, it's not about the fishing lure you are using. It's about the time of the day and um, what fish you are trying to catch. For example, I would like to uh, make it very easy for you guys. So if you're catching uh, walleyes, the best time of the uh, day will be early morning or after sunset. So if you're trying to catch a walleye, and if you're trying midday or afternoon, there won't be much lack. So even if you are using the best lure for walleye, uh, you may not be uh, catching a lot of fish. Hi, Jerry Bowman. Hi, how are you, man? Uh, welcome to my live stream. Uh, you, you came all over here to say uh, hi to me and thank you very much. Um, I'm just uh, Google Hangouting now. So if you want to join our live stream, you can actually send me a request there and we can do the Hangout together. So if anybody wants to do a Hangout with me, uh, let me know. We can we can have uh, almost uh, eight people in, in our live, live room. So, um, hey, the great B8. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for stopping by. So, um, you know, our discussion is all about uh, fishing lures, and I started with the five of diamond. This is the key uh, lure for catching pretty much all the fish. It's a favorite lure for walleyes. It's a favorite lure for uh, pike. And I have used the mini, um, the small size of this same lure for trout too. So it's going to work pretty much for um, uh, all the spe fish species that is found in Canada. Uh, hey, McIntosh, how are you, man? Thank you for stopping by. Thank you very much. So uh, we that's the first one. The first and uh, the best lure for pretty much all fishing is the five of a diamond. Yeah, it's called a daredevil. Like, uh, you know, it's, it's a daredevil. Actually, you catch a lot of fish with this, uh, this lure here. Uh, and I want to introduce, uh, this is, I call it like a safe way sign, safe way lure. It has got a uh, safe way pattern, so I call the safe way lure. I call lots of pike with this um, this spoon, and these are like a really big spoon, so you will be aiming at big sized fish too. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for coming and supporting me here, uh, guys. I really want to make a request to whoever here in the room already. Um, Please subscribe to each other and uh, try to help each other to grow. So it's all up to you guys. You know, please watch their videos, subscribe to their channel. It is not something we have to say every day, but absolutely that is something we have to do uh, for us to grow e uh, each other, help each other, and grow together. So 
A. John Istabala, RWA Fishing, Grand Macintosh. Guys, you guys are fabulous. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, and um, we're going to go straight into the topic, um, the, the important lures that I'm using. You know, um, if, I, if I catch a fish with a, uh, with a lure, I will go find the same lure again. And I will make a replica of the same lure. So uh, imagine a situation you are fishing far away from uh, the city limit in a lake where there is not much, um, uh, you know, um, store to buy lures and stuff. And you you catching a fish with this particular lure. OK, if you can see this lure and you lost the lure somehow, you know, if you lost the lure, then uh, uh, you might be able to try out something different, but uh, if you got a fish in the same lure, and that's that does simply mean that uh, you will be getting a lot of fish with the same lure because uh, the fish is attracted more into that um, uh, same lure. Um, my record bass is on the Red Devil. Oh yeah, Red Devil is fantastic. I know, I know. Um, so it, it, it is uh, it is actually a little bit glittery. So if you are um, uh, fishing in a lot of sunlight, this will reflect lights and uh, uh, you can get a lot of fish here. And I have recently uh, caught a lot of fish with this kind of lure here. Uh, it's best for trout too. Like if you have tried uh, catching trout with this kind of lure, where there is actually a bulge, you can see that it is of different colors. Okay, this lure is of different color. You you will get a lot of different colors, and this is actually a pretty good one. So when I was fishing long time ago in a river, and uh, my wife actually got a old this kind of lure, so. I put a new hook on to that and I tried catching fish and I got a fish right away, like within no time. So I went and checked for this particular lure and I bought a new one and one more. Like you always have to have two, one of the same. Uh, you have to have a replica of the same lure that you're using. So they are all spoons. There's different spoons available, man. So it's of different shape, different color, different size. You know, this is the this is the rainbow one. Hey, John Ames. Hey, man, how are you? Uh, just make sure you guys subscribe to each other, like their channel, comment to their videos and stuff like that. So you know, everybody will have a chance to grow. And you know, we are like beginners. I mean, most of us are beginners, and uh, we want to grow our channel. If you get a reach, if you get like one k subscribers and uh, for 4000 hours watch time then you are pretty much on the on the track you know till then it's a very hard struggled path you have to you have you need help you need support you know so when you reach out to that for um, uh, 4k watch time and 1k uh, subscribers then your video will be uh, shoved uh, on youtube search more frequently so when you type Dr. Fishing, uh, Dr. Fishing will be my channel and it will be shoved on YouTube. But it, since I am a beginner, if you search Dr. Fishing, it won't show up my name, not even my video sometimes. So uh, that's what I'm saying. Like until you reach that threshold, it is a very hard path for everybody. And I hope that uh, somebody from India will join too. I um, postponed yesterday's uh, live streaming just because I had a uh wedding party and after that today i decided to go at the six o'clock then again uh, the indian time right now will be uh eight o'clock in the morning so not everybody is up by that by this time but i know my i the great ba i need to get more info fishing i have been buying some great gear for next year yeah man it's always buying gear so i really want to uh Add one more sentence to this one. Uh, this is the same lure. I actually caught that brown, big brown trout. And uh, people don't actually give out their secret uh, weapon. People don't give out their uh, lures to everybody. You know, it's just because, you know, I would say like they are, um, 
uh, they are not minded. You know, if somebody go and catch a fish from a lake, you know, you are losing nothing. It's been stocked or there is fish there for everybody to fish. If you catch a, one fish, there will be another fish for you to catch next time. So guys, everywhere you need to support. So um, I'm getting, um, so that's another lure I, I wanted to dis, uh, discuss about. Then uh, the yellow perch, the yellow perch and the, uh, it's the soft, uh, soft lure. This guy is my key lure. Like I caught my 90% of uh, fish with this lure. I might have lost like 200 of them in different locations of the river and lakes, wherever I fished. But uh, this guy, he is the key, key thing. Like, um, uh, well, you know, we all buy lots of fishing gear. Like some people buy like a, a little bit, just needed fishing stuff. And they go and they catch fish. Some people buy everything. Fish finder, uh, fish follower, like um, um, pretty much all the gear you need to fish. You know, uh, I would say like that's a um, luxury. You don't, you, you don't need a lot of stuff to fish. If you actually uh, are confident and if you actually want to catch fish and if you really love fishing, uh, you need basic basic supply, some lures and a spoon and a good uh, rod. That will do the that will do the trick, you know, man. So uh, basically, uh, it's I, I am talking about lures, but um, um, it's not all about uh, lures. And this is another guy. Hey, I want to say something about this lure here. It's an yellow perch too, but uh, I bought it from. Uh, dollar tree it's a dollar tree or dollar armor a two dollar stuff i got my most of the walleyes with this lure can you can you believe it hi fishing with mike charles how are you man thank you for coming so uh this lure sorry i bought it for two dollars or dollar 25 or something from a uh, dollar tree and i caught my most walleyes with this lure so you know it's not the cost of the lure you can buy a 200 dollar lure and uh, you can still get the same uh, same result with the fishing you know so it's not about the lure then that's all plastic lures that i'm talking about there's a uh, there's tons i can't actually go in there and uh, um, show you all the lures but uh, uh, there's like a tons of lures that we have i have purchased uh and this one here i want to i want to tell you this is a a mini walleye this guy has a uh this walleye has an eye that will be that will be lit during night time so this guy will catch a lot of fish at night look at this guy it's a mini walleye the walleye will eat the the the, the child the children of walleye too so you know um that's one and again, this one is a different lure, but uh, it's from a uh, uh, dollar tree I purchased, two dollar or three dollar. But uh, th this one caught a lot of fish too. That's a pike. This guy uh, is very, very good for fishing too. The great beard. Hey, also was watching your video. Serving from my home. Hey, serving from my home. Hi, how are you? Uh, Jerry Bowman, John, fishing with Mike. I hit you up. Good, good, good job, guys. Try to help each other. So when you when we have a live stream, um, I would like everybody to help each other. And I got most of my subscribers from uh, uh, Rocco, and he's a very good helping guy. He said. He promised that he's gonna show up for my uh, live stream. He was live streaming an hour ago, I think when I was at work. It was a busy day today, and uh, it was snowing from morning, and it's still snowing, and it's a mess outside. And I, I, I had a busy day at work too, so basically I couldn't, I, I went there and said hi to Rocco, but uh, you know I couldn't stay further because I was, uh, I was so busy today. Um, 
but uh, you know whenever we do a live stream i see that lots of people i see most of the same people that i see at rockos joining uh, this group too uh, i know it's a very helping uh, group with rocco and he's a very fabulous guy so basically we're going to go and to talk about uh, uh, it's a spoon yellow perch it, this yellow perch perch is seen pretty much in most of the water bodies you know uh, so basically all the predator fishes are like uh, pike and walleye they will be aiming at uh, perch so you can use that perch and perch uh, type lures pretty much in uh, all water bodies and i i don't know um can i ask somebody from states like there's is there lots of um, uh, perch in uh, uh, states too like uh, i don't know i'm not too uh, I haven't I haven't gone to uh, states before, and I am planning to go uh, in July or August uh, to New York. Uh, then I want to I want to catch a muskie and a bass. Like I haven't caught any of those fish, but uh, I have um, I have uh, a few fish. I haven't caught a Arctic and uh, I haven't caught a, a tiger trout. Uh, there are only a few species in Canada that I haven't caught. Uh, but uh, uh, with the God's grace, I had uh, caught most of the other fish species. Um, and uh, now we're going to go for uh, some uh, top water lures and stuff. This guy, he has got a knocking sound. So when this guy, this guy is very good for uh, um, uh, winter fishing too. So if you go winter fishing, I wouldn't mind trying this guy out. Like this guy, when you... It has got a lot of noise and it will attract the fish. And uh, same with the same guy here. So this guy, he has got the glit, uh, that uh, rattle noise too. So this guy, uh, as you can see, it says Keystone. When I bought a beer I, or my friend bought a beer, uh, he gave to me. So cheap stuff. But you know, you can catch a fish with that. I have seen a lot of uh, blue, blue collar fishing. There are yellow perch in almost all the northern states in the US. Thank you for letting me know. Like, uh, yeah, I have seen a lot of fishing videos of uh, you people catching perch, but I was just wondering, like we have pretty much, like all our lakes and water bodies have perch. Like even though it's not in the uh, Alberta or Canadian fishing uh, regulation, it doesn't state everywhere that there's perch. But I have seen perch and uh, schools of perch uh, in wherever I go and when fishing, you know. So it's there. So uh, I'm just wondering about that. And, you know, uh, right now, so this guy, this raffle of lures, everybody, you know, you all, everybody talks about this lure. This guy is a, oh my God, it's it's a wonderful uh, it, it's got, it, it can go top water too. Sometimes I see this uh, this guy. Uh, if there is a water current, it it, it goes um, uh, top water. So I don't know. It's it's not a top water lure, but it's a raffle raffle lure. And um, so when I I was talking about that uh, noise, this guy this guy he he has got that noise too. See, just like you are attracting a, a child to come to you. You're rocking this one and the fish will come and take it. So basically it's all trick, you know. Oh, yeah. And this is a, a mini walleye thing. Uh, this guy, uh, the eyes are gone. Some fish caught the eyes uh, from this lure here. But uh, this is a glittering uh, eyes too. Uh, very good. Then uh, uh, we have spinners. We have uh, spinners and stuff like all kind, all different kind. I'm going to uh see and these guys these guys are really good too it's a top water lure this uh the other one is a top water lure too you, you, you know guys i really want to tell you something when you go uh go to canadian tire or uh, outdoorsman or wherever you go hey tiger come in hey come in come in come in come in Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hey. Hello guys. Meet my um, my tiger here. 
tiger. No, 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 no. This is tiger, guys. And I want to introduce you, to, uh, introduce tiger to everybody. He's a British shorter. Uh, he's playing with my other kitty cat. I have one more kitty cat. His name is Neblu. Come here, Neblu. Neblu. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at the tail here. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh serving from uh, home you you got a cat too I forgot his name uh my other guy don't want to come come here sorry guys um I I wanted to show uh, wanted to show you my other kitty cat he's a taxi dog his name is neblu these are my uh, two uh, two buddies here uh they don't catch fish but uh, uh they like to see the uh fishing you know uh i haven't seen they don't eat anything like like they don't eat any fish or anything that i give on raw fish no they don't eat anyways um so oh tiger trout we we have a few lakes Today I have gone and seen a few lakes, uh, the stock report of a few lakes. Um, the Red Indian Creek Reservoir in uh, Canada, that is, uh, uh, that lake is stocked with uh, 40 centimeter, uh, 1500 uh, tiger trout. So 1500 of uh, uh, 40 centimeter tiger trout is uh, stocked very recently in uh, the uh, Indian uh, Red Indian Creek Reservoir. I haven't gone to that reservoir. I have gone just by that reservoir, but uh, the weather wasn't really good that day, and so I had to come back. But uh, that they are like a huge tiger trout. Then, where are you from, original doctor? Just curious. Uh, just listening to my thick accent, you can understand i am not from uh, uh, not from uh, an english speaking country uh, i am actually from india uh, you might have heard about india the great india um, i am feeding about 5 to 8 uh, feral cats in my parking lot <laughs> guys cats are really really awesome guys you know when when i'm sick or if i don't feel all right they they know it they sense it you know uh they usually sleep right on uh, on top of my belly but if i am saying like um no i'm not good he they're gonna leave or they will be like checking on me like every five minutes did you take a tile no they don't ask ask you like did you take a tile no but uh, you can look at their facial expression and say that they they really care about you so well, our topic is fishing but I'm, I'm telling my kitties are the best kitties like they are the best uh you can let them go anywhere they don't go actually they are indoors so they, they don't go anywhere they go for a walk they go for a walk with me outside and they come back did you ever hear uh, a cat going for a walk my dog eats cat oh okay i am more of a dog guy yeah i basically i am a dog guy too uh i got a dog when i was when i was five years old from my dad his name is Neblu. That's the same name I gave to my kitty cat now. He lived almost 22 years. He was really big uh, German Shepherd with the uh, uh, local breed. So he wasn't a real, real uh, German Shepherd, but he was big with uh, long hair and he was the friendliest one. I go on a ride with him. Like I can just jump right on, on top of him and he will take me. He will just I, I wouldn't I wouldn't lock him anywhere. He just he's free. He's just like my baby. He was my best buddy. Uh, when I lost him, I don't have a picture of him on my phone or anything, and that sucks. And I miss him. And I actually um, long time ago uh, that was after I came to Canada. Long time ago, my uh, my neighbor, my dog passed away, and I was crying. I was crying like a baby and I am not ashamed to tell anybody that I was crying. Um, that's dog. I am actually more of a dog person, but uh, right now uh, our apartment uh, doesn't like uh, bigger size dogs and stuff. And I don't like the miniature Chihuahua and those kind of small dogs. 
I actually really don't like the idea too. Uh, making those uh, those guys really 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 small. So uh, you know, guys, uh, there are different sorts of lures. Like we 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 don't know what lure we are gonna use in a particular environment. So that's what I'm trying to talk about now. So uh, John Ames, uh, really twenty two years, a lot of. Uh, dog like that i thought my golden retriever was old yeah uh you ready to get after some fish snap dog yeah so i really want to like you guys are very experienced uh fishermen you guys catch fish very easily but uh, i have a lot of people from india actually um uh talk they asked if i could uh describe about the fishing lures and stuff so that's why I'm mainly here. I know our topic may not be the best interest for you guys because you are already, already scholar and master of fishing. So you don't need any uh, technical tip, but uh, uh, there are times when uh, people from uh, my home country uh, forgot uh, or they missed my live stream and they go back and check uh, my videos uh, and they will uh, they will comment or they will uh, they will send they usually don't come and I don't know for some reason, but uh, they usually send a WhatsApp or uh, a text message and ask me like, uh, yeah, uh, you explained that part and that was really helpful and stuff. So that's why I know uh, whoever in this uh, A. Kelly Bowman, um, Snap 2530. Yeah, guys, thank you for stopping by. But I, I really want to say like, uh, uh, it, it may not be the best uh, knowledge you're gonna get from me because I am actually a beginner of fishing. And you guys are masters of fishing so um but i'm still explaining a few things that i know that i want to explain to uh people who already uh, just started fishing or uh, uh, the beginners of fishing so some basic ideas so when, when you when, when you when you go fishing you you need to know like what lures you're gonna try first so when you when, when you don't hit a hit for a longer time with a your your perfect lure or your your key uh, lure, then you have to try something different. You you, you can't be confirmed with the only one lure and they keep fishing and have a blank day. So what are you gonna try to do? Uh, cast out like five times with a lure, and then if you try a different idea, a different lure, and you know try try out everything until you catch a fish. So um, uh, the lures that you're using in a lake may not be the best lure for uh, river fishing. So you have to you have to think you have to use your common sense what lure you're gonna use. Um, so anyway, so, so that's all about uh, that's not all about uh, lures. I have different. Uh, then we all use uh, a bell. If you're going sturgeon fishing, if you're going uh, like you know river fishing, this is and using a dead bait. This is one of the best thing you need to carry with your. Uh, uh with your um, uh, toolbox okay so sometimes you don't get the feel when there is a, a a stronger water current so if you have that um, uh bell there if you're using a dead bait or worms or night crawlers or um, minnows or smelt or something uh, and you are actually um doing that passive fishing you need that bell uh, quite a uh, quite a few times i tried without that bell and i missed judging um uh, i i i wasn't using my hand i put the rod down there and i was looking at the tip but i misjudged a few times and i missed a few sturgeon uh just because i didn't carry my uh, bell with me so it's a very important tool so uh there is a, a lot more uh, to explain in that one but uh, I really want to step up and uh, show you guys uh, some other small sized lure. This is this is very good for jigging too. So I, I told you guys I went fishing uh, a few days ago. I think the day before yesterday. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I, I think you guys seen that uh, video about uh, the lake that was in the, that wasn't fully frozen. There was like a minimum uh, thickness of ice there and I was too worried to fish there. So I went to a different spot where there is a reservoir and the water is running and there is a small hole, fishing hole. That's actually a pretty good hole. 
uh, and uh, there was some ice and I didn't take my auger with me. So I took a big stone and put it there and made a big hole in the ice. And I was digging this guy. This guy was wonderful, but I didn't catch any fish, not even a follower. I used to smelt, I used uh, worms, and I used plastic and uh, spoon, but uh, there was not even a fish. And this guy, oh my God, I forgot to tell you, I caught a big, big, big fight. Guys, you know, I just started uh, YouTubing everything like a year ago. No, six months ago. Before that, I, I used to catch lots of fish. I used to catch tons of fish, big sized fish. I never, never took the measurement of a fish. I never, never ever worried like, you know, it's a big walleye and I need to take a picture of it. Now I regret. If I go back, what is your personal best walleye? Like I haven't. I haven't caught many walleyes this year and they were very small but i ha i remember i caught like 80 centimeter like you guys are using the uh, uh the inch there but i am using centimeter i mess with uh, the inch and centimeter all the time so i was i was catching like oh rocco's where is rocco's whatever bites rocco's in okay yeah so guys so what i was trying to say this is called a lady bed uh sorry ladybug see the ladybug this guy i got a big pike with this guy um it was very weedy there was lots of weed bed there and uh, i wasn't able to uh, cast anything there it was hooking there and i just just wanted to try out this ladybug guy just throw it out there i think i just cast her right into his mouth and he just grabbed it right away so what happened? I got a big pike. I didn't take the measurement of that pike. And I believe that was the biggest pike I ever caught. That was over 100 centimeter. So that was that was like really huge. But I didn't take a picture because I was by myself. And I was using uh, the bigger size of this guy, uh, Ladybug. And uh, so when you're going for uh, uh, perch fishing and stuff, you can use these guys. They're like very small guys. You can even use it for ice fishing. Um, I don't know how much it costs. And you can use it, uh, this, this lure here. It's very good for jigging too. I never caught a fish with this one. So I don't know. Maybe, uh, you know, these kind of lures are, it, it will work everywhere. If you can jig, then you got it. So these are some trout fishing lures that I have. They should be really small for the trout. I know you can use big lures, but a uh, lot of times uh, you get lots of action with the small, small sized one. So that's really small. That's bigger than that. This guy is uh, a different one. And guys, come on all these lures you can, you can use uh, use this for uh, um, perch fishing a lot if you can jig and when you have a light uh, lure when you are casting a light lure you can always put a split shot on your line or you can actually uh, get a uh, it's a connection uh, a weighted connection that you can attach to your lure so you can cast out further See, uh, these guys are wonderful too. Like, uh, this is my favorite. So it has, I have it in different sizes, so. And this guy, this is the one my wife actually got from uh, a river. So there, it's old. And this guy here is very good too. He isn't too bad. This guy, I use a, a weight down here just because, you know, um, it has got an altered movement when I was uh, um, when I was trying um, casting this guy and I see the underwater movement. This guy with a, a, a lure here, a, a trouble hook here, it was, it was a weird movement for this guy. So I put a weight here and it was going like, you know, just improvising. So you, you gotta improvise yourself with whatever strategies work for you. So there are spinners, 
you know, spinners will work everywhere with for any fish. Guys, I, I want to show you. So if anybody ever used to this stuff, can, can, can anybody tell me that did you guys ever use it for uh, white fish? This is the this is custom made for uh, white fish. This guy, they don't need anything. If you have a, a, a moving shot and a bead, and uh, uh, if you get the hook up there, I, I have a, a video coming up uh, next, uh, how to set up a um, hook for uh, uh, white fish. So in that video, I'm explaining that, but this one, they don't need anything. The white fish just grab it. So I, I, I bought this one, this one first to catch white fish and I got a few white fish. Then I changed uh, that to the other one and some of the jig gets here. And if you're using uh, uh, the floats, it is best for uh, uh, perch and um, uh, I use it for uh, white fish, white fish and perch mainly and sometimes trout. Uh, trouts are not like, uh, they're not surface eater or bottom meter. They come and take the thing like from anywhere. So you can use if you don't, if you want. So this was the weight I was discussing about. Uh, you can put that through uh, your line. So this guy, it has got a hole. So you put the thread, uh, you thread through the hole and you put a bead and that's where the weight goes. So according to the depth of um, um, according to the depth of your uh, uh, water body you're fishing, you use whatever. Uh, so your your bead will be uh, according to the depth of your water you want to catch fish. Then up to there, this will float, and at the bead it will stop. So you will have a good presentation for a white fish. So that's uh, that's one of the thing I want to uh, explain to you guys. And this is the bead I was talking about. Okay, guys. So if you if you can use this bead uh, to stop the uh, weight from floating all the way down to the hook, use this uh, use that stuff. And this guy is very good for uh, trout fishing. And it has got a that uh, that stuff in there that will make noise. So these are custom made. This guy is custom made, but this one is old, older than my dad, I guess. I use plastic worms too. I call lots of perch with the plastic worms. Don't even smell like worms, but uh, I don't know, for some reason, the perch is too foolish uh, to come and grab these worms, but uh, that's how it works, right? So, oh, I want to tell you a story about this guy here. It was really unfortunate. I ordered two packs of this stuff from Amazon. They told me that it's 30 gram. It might weigh like 15 gram. You can't cast out any further than like uh, 25 feet. And this guy sucks. But uh, I, I caught a few fish. I had to use a split shot to cast out further. This guy uh, has a good movement with his tail. But uh, ultimately, this um, this lure is in the back. It's in the best. I bought it from Amazon. I paid thirty dollar for uh, uh, sixteen of this guy of different colors. I don't know. I have a bunch of that one. Then uh, always power bait is the best. So uh, marshmallow, um, cheese, um, garlic, shrimp, whatever, whatever smell the the fish like. Trout fishing, trout bait. That's the that's the first one. First the 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 lure of choice for a trout i would say marshmallows
so guys i really want to know like if you guys um subscribe to each other and stuff like that it will be it will be great if you can uh help each other and uh, help us help everybody to grow together so you know after this video i'm gonna go back and see whoever watched the video and subscribe to their channel and whenever they they have a live stream i really want to stay um uh, uh another two hours but i would i wouldn't uh next time i will come up with a different topic when i when i am coming online when i am streaming i will have some some topic to discuss it may be very simple thing but uh, there will be obviously some uh some topic for us to discuss about and thank you for stopping by everybody um okay Lee Bowman, thank you very much i don't know to what extent you guys understood what i was trying to explain but it's all about fishing it's not about the lure it's all about your passion and dedication and your love for fishing uh, that will pay off to you uh, at the end of the day so if you i have gone fishing like um, 15 days in a row without no luck i caught videos of all fishing but i had no luck i can't take a video of that so when you catch a fish people are there to uh, judge you oh you caught that fish with that gill there you were uh, trying to hold the fish from behind uh, you know your cast wasn't too too good you were not holding on to your uh, uh, rod properly guys you know you you see only one percentage of the total action the real fishing action you need to see when we fish if uh, you guys fish so you guys definitely know so when you come for fishing you obviously know like how much hardship you are taking you know sometimes it's too cold sometimes it's too warm sometimes it's very bushy sometimes you know lots of flies but uh, it's it's not about that if you really love fishing you're gonna stay there you know i must have told my wife this is the last cast a million times before i finish fishing you know i will wait for my last cast probably like after 100 100 times i said like this is my last cast if i don't have a fish that day that will go further and further until i can no longer fish so guys uh it's all about fishing if you love fishing you will find out a reason to fish you will find out some time for you to fish you you will enjoy uh what you're doing so uh basically uh today we discussed about all kinds of lures that i am using that's only one percentage of the lure that i i could explain to you today but tomorrow we will come up with another topic and uh, we will have a live stream and guys you can always i can i can send you the links uh for joining my next time what i'm gonna do i'm gonna send you the link just like this okay let me see the links so what i'm gonna do next time i'm gonna paste this link and i'm gonna send it to you so who are with that link you can join me on my uh, Google Hangout, so we can hang out together. So you will have your own video um, uh, with my video. So we can have like 12 people at the same time in the same room. They're all streaming. We are all streaming at the same time. So that will be a wonderful idea. So if you have, uh, yeah, the never ending last cast. I, I was just talking about it yesterday too like uh you, you you can't you can't just say bye if you don't if you haven't caught a fish that day the last cast is the the longest cast that will go all the way up to like you, you can bitch about it like two hours and you can still do like it's the last uh last cast uh guys the next time i would like you guys to uh, uh join me next time means it can be tomorrow it can be any time but i will i will let you uh, let you know guys about when i'm live streaming i will have a different topics to discuss about and i will be google hangouting next time and if you guys can join me on my video through my uh, invitation link that will be great we can have more than one people talking at the same time uh, not everybody don't have to get bored about my uh, thick accent and you know uh you know uh that minimal language proficiency next time more than one person can talk and we can all have a live stream and that's that will be the best way we can all grow together so uh until then uh 
I'm going to come up with a new topic. And I have a few topics in my mind that people already asked me if I could explain further. And we will come up. And thank you, everyone, each and every month. Jerry Boban, uh, the great BA, uh, RWA Fishing, Fishing with Mike. Um, guys, everybody, Grand McIntosh. I, 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 I haven't seen Jack fishing here, but he used to come all, all the time. But he might come and check it out later, I guess. Kelly Bowman, Musky Hands, uh, Snap Donkey, uh, like everybody, each and everybody who ever showed up for this um, uh, live streaming. I appreciate your help. And next time we will come up with a new episode of uh, New Talk. And uh, uh, you guys take care. Uh, signing off, Dr. Fishing. Bye.